mission is to help every engineering and product people in the planet to learn soft skills and to build better teams. I have a sense of what I want to achieve. Co-creating, shaping and tweaking it together, collectively, they own it like there is no tomorrow. It's not about telling your team what to do, right? It's about being of service to your team so that they can be effective at what they're doing. You need to demonstrate over and over again that you are receptive to what other people think of you, even if it's negative. As I've tried, I've had successes, I've had failures, I've made a lot of mistakes, and what I want to share with you is some of those tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. The things that make you good at your job in a certain place that give you an opportunity at the next level are not the same things that will make you successful at the next level. As a manager, I feel like my job is to make the people that work for me as effective as possible. Being motivational is not enough. You have to balance between being motivational and being realistic. It's also important to recruit for company values and complementary strengths in your team. So know who your culture champions are and have them be an active part of your interviewing process and your onboarding process. Leveling the playing field of we're all in it together trying to solve the same problem. I must never spend more than two hours uh, working on something without getting feedback on it and saying, is this roughly the answer you're looking for? And we have a unified vision of what we want to communicate to the team, what we want to do next, and how that's going to get us towards our vision. If I had to say it in a tweet, it would be product, what and why, engineering, how. I don't think you're here for the cocktails. I think you're here because you believe in the same mission as we believe. And I ask you not to leave the knowledge here, but to share it, to spread the knowledge. Thank you.